We will gather in Tulsa in October. Some of us will, others will be absent, but it will be different and much smaller. Parts may be virtual, parts may be out of order, but rather than lament that difference, I'd ask you all to consider celebrating as we look for silver linings. This pandemic has laid many things bare, including the vital role of cultural practices that keep us whole, that make us feel safe. Friends, colleagues, and collaborators have suffered. Some have died. We owe them a second line funeral to celebrate their lives and to remember the value of our own. We need to support our field through this crisis and to support each other along the way. I reached out to AFS members, colleagues, and friends to consider our next year, not as one of cancellation, but as one of hopeful assessment. What can we do to shine a brighter light on our communities, our students, our collaborators, our friends? What are we doing to prove that the creative spirit will not die? What gives us hope? I'm hopeful that folklore will become more visible to non-folklorists. I'm hopeful that, uh, I'm hopeful for creativity and creativity as a form of survival. And I have been drawing a lot of strength from the many creative attempts to connect and to communicate and to share, like um, the social media videos of jingle dress dances for healing and the pass the brush challenges or the wide variety of um, masks that are being made based on um, textile and dress traditions. These give me hope about our ability to continue to adapt to find joy and comfort and beauty and community, even at those moments when it feels like utter chaos. I guess I'm kind of hoping for a new, a new story of our world, who we are, a reevaluation of our humanity, how we can work together better, how we can cooperate. When I see things like uh, systems like mutual cooperation and mutual aid, how we can bring some of that into our future. I've been participating in a lot of web conferences and community conversations around the notion of radical imagination. And I think this moment is not for like shifting how we do things, but instead changing them. So I'm really hoping for a recentering or reinvestment in those freedom practices um, as we figure out how to do our work and live our lives in the ways that our community needs going forward. I am hopeful for the general resiliency I'm seeing from the cultural sector and also in the midst of all that have done a good job of, I think, uh, centering equity and I'm really, you know, and really reaching out to communities of color that have been disproportionately affected by this uh, current crisis that we're in. As we often see in these circumstances of great crisis, um, vernacular culture and vernacular expression, folk culture and folk expression rises up because the people need a way to express how they're feeling when their needs are not being met institutionally. Supposedly, this idea that the, the local is culture is somehow disappearing, and I think what's always been so exciting uh, is just to see how tenacious these uh, life ways, these folk ways, always are, and that uh, they continue to be. And I think uh, during during this time in particular, I think that's becoming almost more conscious to people. Like, what is it that's missing in life right now? When we're, when we're having to interact with each other from this distance. And so I, I'm hopeful that uh, we will, during this time of, of isolation from each other, and after we emerge from this moment of isolation, uh, we will be much more finely tuned to those taken for granted uh, concepts and words such as community and culture and all those other things that folklorists are so interested in and, and, and attuned to to start with and we'll also be much more finely tuned and sensitive to each other. I also feel like more people are organically discovering the things that we have 
spent a lot of time thinking about working on and doing, you know, that close observation, deep listening, building relationships, being empathetic. I mean, these are like, this is the toolkit of folklore. And this is what is actually grounding like a response that um, is hopeful uh, towards what's happening right now. I'm optimistic that as a society, we're going to emerge from this with a, a renewed uh, dedication and appreciation for uh, the people and traditions um, and creativity that, that gives our, our lives and our communities so much meaning. Um, I remain hopeful uh, because of generosity I continue to see amidst all the sort of darkness and heartbreak and trauma floating around in the world. Um, generosity at neighborhood levels, at regional levels, um, in cultural groups and all sorts of settings that just kind of continues to give me hope and that people remain creative. It's been said that uh, a crisis is a terrible thing to waste. Uh, there is a cynical point of view on that statement, but there is a positive point of view too which is uh, let's use this crisis to be able to make a better world for ourselves after it's done. And um, that's my wish.